Hey, I'm Elizabeth. I am a Hope Stock Keeper here at the Baton Rouge Zoo. I've been here for four years. Our average day starts basically, we come in, check on everybody, make sure everybody's doing good, that they've eaten their food from the night before. Um, the white-tailed deer, very much in a routine. We check on them. They mainly eat first thing in the morning and late in the evening, so that's when we feed them. We come out here, check on them, give them their diets. They're not like horses, they don't graze. They kind of pick and choose what they eat. Depending on the time of year, it can be opportunity. They eat leaves, grasses, even small twigs. They have four chambers to their stomach, similar to a cow. So if you see them sitting around chewing, it's basically like a cow, they're chewing their cud. They can pack in lots of food all at once and then go to a safe place to digest it. Because what happens is when they first swallow, it goes down to that first chamber. Then they bring it back up a little bit at a time. They'll chew on it, chew on it, swallow it again. It goes to the second chamber. And then it goes to the third, which actually filters it before it goes to the last chamber and then it comes out. And that's what we spend the majority of our day doing is picking up the final result. <laughs> And these guys, uh, the white-tailed deer, can live up to 14 years in captivity. Our oldest here is Andy. He just ran in there. He's going to be seven years old this year. Our youngest is Daisy. She's four. Um, they only live to be about four and a half years in the wild, mainly due to hunting and disease and the fact that they get hit by traffic. Now our four white-tailed deer share the yard with four wild turkeys over there. There's two toms and two hens. We have our sandhill crane over here. Now these, all of these animals are native to North America. Um, they also share the yard with one of our senior bull elks, Mac. He's actually inside in front of a fan right now, <laughs> getting all the, all the bugs off of him. Um, just letting y'all know, it was, it's really hard to not have everybody here visiting all the animals. Um, the animals definitely do notice a difference. It's very quiet. There's nobody here looking at them to talk to them. So we come out here, while there's no public here, we come out here and just spend the extra time with them, uh, playing with them, talking to them. We're spending extra time with them just to make up for the public not being here because they do, they get used to the interaction, um, the human interactions. Calvin, Calvin was hand raised here. He's five years old. He is all over us all the time. <laughs> he was raised that way, so he thinks he's a people. <laughs> he follows commands. See how well trained he is? <laughs> <like a> <laughs>